In addition to the sanctuaries, the great treasures that preserve Christian history, the Holy Land has other treasures, the communities and religious congregations engaged in the care of the holy places as well as in social and humanitarian services. One of these congregations is the Franciscan Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Founded in Egypt, the congregation came to Haifa, a city in northern Israel, to run the Italian hospital in 1907. This is a hospital recognized by the government whose main branch is oncology. We specialize in helping cancer patients. The hospital also operates in the field of general medicine, surgery and orthopedic rehabilitation. The creation of the hospital was an initiative of the National Association for the Assistance of Italian Missionaries founded by a Catholic layman in the late 19th century in Egypt. The Italian hospital in Haifa was the first and only medical center for the northern part of the then Palestine. So these institutions that were run by the church, by religious organizations, was a blessing to the area because they brought the first medical care. This was the biggest in those years, in the 20s, in the 30s. This was the biggest surgical facility in the north, with surgeons coming from Italy to operate and to bring what was considered at that time modern medicine to this area. The work performed by these nuns is an example of peaceful coexistence. We welcome employees and patients of any race or religion. We all live and work together in an atmosphere of tranquility and mutual respect. In this hospital we welcome every patient. There's no religious discrimination. The majority are obviously Jewish because we live in a Jewish context. But we also take care of Christians, Muslims, Arabs, patients of all races and ethnicities. We do not discriminate. Love unites us. Christ gave us the example and we follow him. This was his message. The doctors here also belong to different religions and we are all very open-minded here. There are no problems between us. Kindness, love and attention are common words in the vocabulary of the religious who thoughtfully dedicate themselves to patient care. I really like this job because I like to devote myself to others and just as Christ taught us, we live the gospel when we share with them, when we serve and help them. This is very important. Guaranteed by the staff here, even the working environment is different. Different from what can I tell you from the regular institutions that everybody knows in the regular hospitals. Uh, has a special uh, touch, special atmosphere. Um, it's more quiet, more uh, relaxed. And I think the, uh, um, many of the staff are very attentive to the patients, very giving very good special care and very nice attention. Yaffa had an accident, a fall resulting in some fractures. After two weeks of treatment, she leaves the hospital and she is full of gratitude. Everyone is very friendly. The physiotherapy team is wonderful, the hospital is clean, healthy and the food is great. I do not even have words to describe it because this place has helped me to get the strength to be able to recover my health. Another patient jokes and says that the hospital seems rather like a small hotel. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm a Jew. And for me to come here, first of all, it's a little hard. Because I eat a kosher and I, they give here an only kosher and it's wonderful. Taking care of patients during this time of fragility without looking at the origin or religion, this is how the Franciscan missionary nuns bear witness to their faith. Every day with their own lives they give the example of how to live by the teachings of Christ, by the commandment of love. We cannot proselytize talking about Jesus or religion. However, our lives reflect our faith. 
In fact, patients notice it and say, you are different. They notice our way of life and how we take care of them with unselfish love. And this is why we are here, to give our testimony and help those who suffer. È l'unico motivo per cui noi siamo qua, per dare testimonianza e aiutare chi soffre.